Downtown Lafayette will have several new businesses opening in the coming months. And tonight, Chris Welty reports on what business owners say they need to thrive in downtown Lafayette. Strolling downtown, it's common to see construction crews scattered along Jefferson Street, including at the old filling station. Spoonbill Watering Hole and Restaurant is taking over the popular spot. A lot of people starting to kind of create and do things with these buildings that were vacant. You know, we've got Rock and Bowl across the street, we've got uh, Dat Dog, we've got Pops and Boys, we've got, you know, um, all these people trying to do these things with these old buildings. Business owners believe in order to thrive downtown, they have to have a balance between day and nightlife. Now it's like you can be here from breakfast to dinner if you want to, you know, um, and through nightlife even. Spoonbill owner Stephen Verrett says when new businesses come in, owners try to maintain the history and the vibe of the original building. The goal is to take the venues to the next level. It just to watch the resurgence of businesses coming in and, and wanting to put money into downtown and put time and effort really is what it is more than anything. Chad Leger agrees. He manages the Omni Center, a multicultural event and art center on the opposite end of downtown. 2018 has seen a, a real uptick in businesses happening. Just on our block, we have uh, the Pearl, which is a music venue. We have an Indian restaurant that's coming. Leger says most downtown businesses support one another and work together to help the area grow. To be able to have families and, and friends come out to experience downtown during the day, and then you can come out in the evening and dance or get a drink or whatnot. In Lafayette, Chris Welty, KTC TV3. Happening.